Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am just going to do a much requested update on my cymbidiums that we were spiking and growing together. So this is gonna be a really quick video. I'm just on my way to work and I'm like super hot. I just had a shower and I'm cooking and the greenhouse feels really warm today. It's really only about 70 degrees, but I think it's just the humidity. But holy cow, it's hot in here. So anyways, um, we're going to start you with ones that you haven't seen yet. I have my three biggest ones in front of us. Uh, the last one I think is going to be I'm um, ready to go in the house. You never want to take a cymbidium out of its spot where it is um, forming spikes because the buds will blast. So we have a couple spikes here. This is a yellow plant. Kind of a yellowy green plant actually. Let's see if I can get it to focus. So I spiked those ones the same way. Go through the jungle of cymbidiums. Whoops. Bump something behind me. These things take up a lot of space on this some shelf here. So you can see this plant has got quite a few spikes. Wherever you see a black zap strap, you can kind of see a, a spike coming out. Uh, moving on to the next one. Different color plant. These ones um, are more of a purple flower. And Wherever you see a zap strap is where a spike is coming out. So you just um, use a zap strap and kind of follow it up. That way you can keep them in check as they go up the, um, the poles. All right, there's another one there. So this one probably has close to eight spikes as well. The one that we've been working closely with has about eight spikes and it's fully out in bloom now almost. So I'll show you that one next. You can see some buds coming out on that guy there. Those are the first ones for it that are actually like coming out of the, the sheath sort of thing. So yeah, make sure um, if your cymbidium is spiking, you leave it exactly where it is. If you move it into the house or change the environment, they could blast on you and you'll get them to it like an almost open stage. Like these buds are the perfect um, size for blasting right there. Once they get open like this, they'll be fine. But it's these guys here you have to worry about. So yeah, this is the um, the beauty. It's kind of a, almost a brownie red with a yellow lip. This was my very first cymbidium I ever owned. Would I buy it again? Probably not in this color, but you know, it's um, it's a very elegant looking plant. So there's the flowers out on it. Because there are so many spikes this year, um, this one, for example, there's the stake back here. I have got three different spikes coming up on the same stake. So it's just going to be a big clustery bouquet of flowers on that one. The far one back there, there's at least two spikes on the one stake. And yeah, that is an update on the cymbidiums. So the temperatures in the daytime in here, it gets up to about 80. There's where they sit on the floor down there. So they take up, um, these three plants take up four feet of space and it's about two feet of depth in there. And that's where they have been growing. Heaters right there. So they're, they're down low. The heater blows out that way. So it doesn't really um, affect them that much. It stays cool down there. And yeah, there's there's not much light actually down there, considering they're supposed to be uh, needing cool, bright light in the winter time. I think that's only to get them to spike. And once they're in spike, I just I tend to just leave them alone, and they do their thing. That poor one is wanting to open and can't. So what else? Um, the media I keep fairly dry this time of year. I do water it about once a week. I don't give it a good soaking. I just sort of give it a soaking, um, if that makes any sense. Um, it's more than a spray, but it's less than like total drenching. And I do allow it to go dry again completely. But yeah, I think it's time to bring this guy in, at least in a couple days. I want to let a few more open. They're opening so fast now. So it's always funny because this one is always behind this one. And that one is always behind this one. And I don't know why they all get the same um, care other than because this one is blooming later it stays in bloom later. So this one, for example, it will be done first and it's gonna have the entire growing season to grow new bulbs. And this one over here, because it's done blooming in like June, it seems, 
it only has um, three quarters of the growing season to grow new bulbs so it's a little bit slower and then this one is in the middle of the two anytime you see yellow leaves like that just take a sterilized pair of scissors and you can remove any kind of leaves before you bring them in and trim them up anything like this here you could just take a pair of scissors and if you cut that diagonal you wouldn't even notice that was um, on the leaf uh, we sort of trim the leaves before they come in the house to make them look a little prettier for display but anyways that is a really quick Cymbidium update for you I hope you like this video I'm going to be doing an uh, update to the Vandas growing indoors really soon um, probably this week I know I've been getting a lot of requests for that as well so that video will be coming up and yeah stay tuned